All right, let's talk about ice dams. You know, a, a lot of this time of year, a lot of folks are experiencing a lot of ice buildup at their gutter line by their roof. And they're like, well, where is this coming from? Why is it forming? Well, it's quite simple. Usually at the top of the roof, there's vents. You know, vents that circulate the warm air that comes out of your house through a ridge vent or a static vent or something of that nature. And what happens at that point, the snow that's at the top, except for really cold weather like this, but it warms up probably about in the 20s or 30s, uh, the ice, uh, the snow and ice at the top of the roof will melt and will draw down towards the gutter line at the outer edge of the gutter and then refreeze. And then that continually keeps going, keeps building up almost like a dam. That's why they call them ice dams. And because of that continual building up, they will sometimes lift the shingles and then the, the ice will touch the actual roof part. They warm up. The higher up it goes, it starts to remelt because of the warm air escaping the roof at that point. So that water enters your house and that's how you get water damage or leaking to your home. Well, if you do have ice damming, and there obviously there's no way to properly per, you know prevent that from happening now at this time of year, what you can do, and you know, if you don't want to climb up on a ladder, take care of yourself. I always highly recommend it. It'd be a very dangerous situation to do that with the ice around climbing ladders and all that. And I'll give you a name of a company you can call that can help you with that, by the way. Uh, but if you want to do that and want to melt that ice, we, I'd, first of all, I don't recommend people going up on the roof and taking a hammer and chisel and chopping away at the ice. You can do more damage than good by doing that. And again, it's a very dangerous thing to do. But if you want to temporarily re, uh, start melting that ice to get the water flowing down your gutter again, what you can do is take a pair of pantyhose and and stuff in the pantyhose ice melt not salt but ice melt like calcium chloride put that in there stuff in there tie one end up and just lay them across almost look like sausage you're laying them on top of the actual ice in time that will start melting that ice and hopefully uh, start getting that ice to move to melt away now in the springtime when you have the availability to evaluate your roof you need to somehow create ventilation. That means ventilation from the soffit end. Make sure you have holes that go up through your soffit, and it continually goes up into the attic space and out through your roof. You want your roof to stay cold. You want it to stay cold at all times, so that way it won't you know, melt at the top and freeze at the bottom. Also, if your roof is an older roof and as such is not able to help it you know, properly ventilate, what you can do, and probably you can do even if it does ventilate well, is put gutter heater cables up on the you know, during, uh, actually they insert into the gutter and up probably about a few feet up to the, up on the roof line itself. And that will help uh, your situation to stop and prevent uh, gutters from filling up with ice. But if you want a name to help you out with, you know, removing the ice now, or uh, looking and evaluating your roof for the spring to correct that problem, uh, get my buddy Chris Camus at Absolute Roofing a call. Chris Camus at Absolute Roofing. You can reach him at 216-898-1563. I highly recommend calling him. They do provide that service to remove the ice and to uh, obviously evaluate your roof and ventilation needs for the coming year. Give me a call, 216-898-1563. That's Absolute Roofing. If you uh, didn't...